governor of Texas wants to pardon a man convicted of murder. Daniel Perry was convicted Friday of killing a protester during a 2020 anti-police brutality demonstration in Austin. A day after that conviction, Governor Greg Abbott pushed for a pardon, citing the state's stand your ground laws. The Travis County District Attorney is responding tonight. ABC 13's Daniela Hurtado is live with the latest developments. Daniela. Tom, this evening, the district attorney in Travis County is saying through a statement that a jury is the one that defines whether or not a defendant is guilty or not, and not the governor of Texas. Just days following the reading of the guilty verdict in the death of Garrett Foster, defendant and U.S. Army Sergeant Daniel Perry is seeing support from the governor of Texas. A Facebook Live captured the sounds of shots fired on the night Foster lost his life. Authorities say Perry was working for a ride share and came across the protest in the streets of Austin. Foster was one of the protesters and had an AK-47. Perry says Foster pointed his rifle at him, so he shot him. Some witnesses say Foster never pointed his gun at the defendant. On Saturday, Governor Greg Abbott in a statement confirmed he requested and instructed the Board of Pardons and Paroles to expedite the review of convicted murderer Daniel Perry. Some in Houston say the governor should let the legal system handle it. Trust the system. We're asked all the time as Americans, trust the system. Don't take the law into your own hands. The governor also stated Texas has the strongest stand your ground laws of self-defense. Something he says cannot be nullified by a jury or what he calls a progressive district attorney. In reference to the Travis County DA, Jose Garza. Tonight, D.A. Garza is pushing back. In a statement sent to ABC 13, he said the governor's statement about intervention and legal proceedings is troubling. He says a jury found Perry did not kill Foster in self-defense and was guilty of murder beyond a reasonable doubt. A sentencing hearing for Perry still needs to be scheduled. He's facing life in prison. Daniela Hurtado, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.